That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now, from the beginning. I got a later start than usual today, but I did that on purpose. Got below freezing the last two nights, and man, I just wanted to let it warm up a little bit. Still, it was a really cold boat ride getting out here, and I've got something special planned for today. Captain Lane Zimmer made some baits for me. They're mad mullets, they're paddle tail soft plastics, but they're in a color that you know I love. It's very similar to that black light Z craw that I fish all the time, have great success with that bait. So I wanna try these out today. Lane asked me to put them to the test. They're not available yet to the public. He wanted some feedback. So that's the point of today's fishing trip. Now I've had the baits for a couple of weeks and in that time we've had some really good conditions to fish, but I haven't used them. Because to me, you shouldn't try prototypes on good condition days because you don't get a good read. Those days the fish will bite anything. Today, we've got the polar opposite. Conditions are horrible. I'm telling you, this is the worst fishing conditions I've faced in probably the last 12 months. The water is up, it is dead. Tide is dead, it is not moving at all. It's dirty and it's very cold. Water temp right now is 48 degrees. Finding speckled trout today will be an impossibility unless conditions change a whole lot as the day goes on. But I'm gonna be targeting reds and bass early with these prototype baits. And let me tell you, my expectations are not high. If I catch just one or two fish on this bait, I'll consider it a success. That's how bad conditions are today. But to be honest, I like the challenge. I'm really excited about fishing today. All right, I made a big move. I came way back into the marsh. Unfortunately, the water's not any better. Maybe even a little bit worse than what I left. I am gonna fish it because I may just have to fish dirty water today. Hopefully it'll clean up as the day goes along. If these winds will settle, that might happen. And as I keep pushing farther back in the marsh, maybe I'll come across some better water. I knew today would be tough, so I'm facing some adverse conditions. Just gotta make the most of it. Oh, that was a bite, that was a bite. That was a bite. Man, I tell you, part of me is glad that wind's blowing to move this water around a little bit. But boy, it's a lot more comfortable fishing before it started blowing. 35 degrees and wind. Whew, it's chilly. Tough on the hands. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Puglia Sporting Goods. There's one. What are you, what are you? Oh, there we go, there we go. Nice bass, another bass. Man, I gotta tell you, that's a sight for sore eyes with these conditions to be catching anything. Look how white this fish is. Tells you how dirty that water is. So that's the second fish I caught. Both of them hit the same way. Just a barely slight, subtle tick. This water's cold, it's dirty. Just having to bump the fish right on the head. They're not moving far at all. Days like today are when you really got to fish with good equipment. I'm using this seven foot medium heavy Fitzgerald all purpose rod. And I've got to tell you, it definitely played a role in catching both those fish. Cause I never would have felt those strikes with lesser equipment. It's just kind of how it's going to be today. A fish here, a fish there. Gonna have to work for them, but I don't mind that in the least. In fact, I kind of like it. Oh, another bass, gorilla, nice one. Man, I tell you what, that is a beautiful bass. Really great to see in these conditions. Look how chunky this fish is on this mad mullet. Man, I tell you what, I'm impressed with this bait. This is going better than expected. Boy, he tattooed it too. That was first good hit I've gotten today. 
Now, I don't know what Lane is ultimately going to call this thing, if he even ends up making it and marketing it, but it's like a purple glitter and black, just very, very similar to that black light Zoom Z crawfish all the time. And you know, with today's conditions, with this dirty water, a bait like this should shine, but I can tell you this color works really well in pretty water as well. It's just a good all around color. Doesn't really make sense. You really should be fishing a more natural looking color in clean water. But I just got to tell you, it works. <laughs> if it works, don't argue with it, right? Now, I'm fishing this bait today on a quarter ounce death grip jig head. I'm not burying the hook or anything like that. It's, it's you know, it's not Texas rig. The hook is exposed. Now, death grip does make, they just introduced it, a weedless jig head. But so far today, grass has not been a problem. You know, here we are in late January. A lot of the grass has just really died back. And so far, these two bayous I've fished have been pretty clean. And obviously, you don't want to use a weed guard if you don't have to. Now, if I come across a bayou today that's loaded with grass, I may switch to that weed guard, or I may actually rig one of these things Texas rigged. But right now, I'm happy with the way I've got it. So it just goes to show you how big of a difference conditions make. Because the last time I was in the marsh, we could not get away from the rat reds. Caught maybe 30 between 15 and 16 inches. Today, I haven't caught any. But that day, water was really low. Those fish were pulled out of the backwaters and concentrated in these bayous. Today, the water's up. I mean, it is up. We've had northeast wind the past couple of days that's raised the water level. And those fish are just all spread out. Even though the water temp is 47 degrees, those fish are in those backwaters particularly with this high sun. They can get back there and it's quite comfortable for them. I would not be surprised if I don't catch a single redfish today. All right, I think I'm gonna mosey on. I really wanna see if I can find some prettier water. That's especially important in the winter time. You don't wanna fish dirty water in the winter. And look, I've already put several fish in the boat. I'm happy with my results so far, but I just wanna stack as many of these conditions in my favor as I can, because this water still is not moving a lick at all. All right, let's go see if we can find some better water. All right, could our search have paid off? I think it finally did. <laughs> I have finally found a bayou that has some pretty water. Now, it's still high. It's still not moving, but at least the water looks good. I'm feeling better about our chances. Oh, you f You f You m You m you f oh, there's a fish. In this pretty water. Oh, good bass. Good night. Man, that's a good bass. And look how pretty he is relative to those other bass we caught today. Because this water's so much prettier. Whew, lucky to get him. Look at the stripe on him. Just a pretty, pretty beautiful fish. About a two, maybe two and a quarter pounder. Really nice. So I just went and looked at my depth finder. This is a seven foot hole that we're over. It's got a couple of bayous leading into it and that fish was right on that ledge. This episode of Marshman Masson brought to you by Matrix Shad and by Fitzgerald Fishing and by Seto New Orleans and by Versamax Quartz and by Magnolia Vodka. Now, in this bayou, I am picking up more grass on my exposed hook. If it gets too problematic, I think I'm going to rig this bait on a Texas rig. Probably all this grass is the reason this water's a lot cleaner. There's one. Oh, get in the boat! What are you? Another bass. Not as big as the last, but a better eater. Lane, send me every prototype you got. The color's a hit. I will take it. Now, I got to tell you, I cannot believe the number of fish we're catching today, given these deplorable conditions. Nothing is in our favor. 
And look, the fish have not been stacked up. They just haven't been, and I knew they wouldn't be. This water's not moving. There's no focal point. There's nothing to get them to concentrate anywhere, and they certainly have not concentrated today. But we've put a good number of fish in the boat. The trip is definitely a success. See little trinasas like that with that little pond? Man, in a falling tide, that would just be money. <laughs> but this water's doing nothing, and it hasn't all day. So something like that is just irrelevant today. All right, so it's not a true test of a prototype if you don't throw something else, because otherwise, how do you know the fish just aren't going crazy today? I really don't think that's the case, but I gotta throw something else to see. So I've got my favorite black light Zoom Z Craw, and we'll see if we get some bites on it. Oh, there he is. Good night. Oh boy, was that a good hit. He came on button, but man, he smashed it. There's one. All right, that fish was way out. I mean, way out. I don't know if there's some kind of drop off right here. I couldn't really tell, but he was way out. All right, so I've looked on my map and I found one more bayou I want to fish before I call it a day. Now the two lures I fished today, of course, have been the Mad Mullet Prototype and the Blacklight Zoom Z Craw. Now the prototype is way in the lead and I feel like I want to fish it at the next bayou, but I've got to give that Z Craw a little bit longer just to make it a fair comparison. So I'm gonna throw that at the next bayou and we'll see where we end up. Now I've spent a few hours on the water today and the tide has not moved at all. I'm telling you not a bit, the conditions have been just really, really challenging. But I gotta tell you, I'm having a blast. I just love fishing on days like this. It seems crazy, right? You should like to go when the fish are jumping on the boat, and believe me, I like that too. But days that are just more challenging, I don't mind them. Each fish means so much to you when you catch it. Certainly, you pay attention more, and you think about technique more, than on the days when it's just everything you're throwing in, they're biting and it's they're just coming over the gunnel one after another. That doesn't really teach you anything. So I'm gonna go hit that other bayou and hopefully put at least a couple more fish in the boat. Wish me luck. All right, so far this bayou is not as impressive as the one we just left. The water's not as good, it's not terrible. Second best water we fished all day. But more importantly, it doesn't have any depth. I'm gonna push back a little bit and see if it, it deepens a little bit. But right now, it's not all that deep and I don't like our chances. All right, the water clarity has gotten better, but not surprisingly, the depth hasn't. If anything, it's gotten worse. So I'm gonna bail on this bayou and see if I can find another that's kind of on the way in. I'd like to put a few more fish in the boat. All right, just a spectacular bayou when it comes to water clarity. Probably the best I've seen yet today. We'll see if it's got any water in here though. All right, in another bayou. This one's short. Definitely got some depth. <laughs> However, the water is filthy. Well, eh, filthy is probably an exaggeration. It's just not the best. All right, I'm throwing in the towel after a brutally tough outing. Still, I was very impressed with the prototype. It outproduced the Z Craw, which is the bait I've been catching a ton of fish on lately. So believe me, I'll be fishing that bait a whole lot more. And I'm certainly looking forward to getting back out here under some better conditions. If nothing else, at least some moving water. For fishing back here in the marsh, I prefer a falling tide. But even a rising tide would be way better than nothing at all, which is what we had today. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, if we don't see you in this beautiful marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.